last year when Apple released the iPad Pro, it was actually a pretty exciting moment for me because for years um, I have had moleskin notebooks like this one and I filled them up to the brim with notes and lots of um, erasings. Uh, so I wanted a device that I could bring with me everywhere that I went and would also allow me to write on it in a reasonable fashion and then um, save my notes so they're not just tied to the device. So last year when this came out, I went ahead and I purchased it and I purchased the pencil as well. And I also have a keyboard over here, but I'm not gonna show you that. So what's my favorite app that is really only um, good for the iPad that, that actually shows the power of the iPad? Well, here it is, Notability. And in Notability, um, you have the, you can list all your notes and you can create new notes. And I like, there's different types of page paper types. I like this graph paper. Um, I tell myself that it allows me to draw straight lines, but um, I don't know, I'm just used to it. And I also use graph paper in my moleskins as well. So why do I like this so much? Well, um, during the day, you're, um, especially for me, working on various types of projects, I always have ideas. So the good thing here is now that I have a pencil that works pretty well, it's not like clunky stylus like they were like my my um, Paper 53 stylus or any other of the styluses that I have, um, I can actually write. And so um, I could write, you know, task one, task two, task three, task four. But I found out is that the problem that I was having with um, focusing on some of my projects is that um, operating using a mind map is difficult when you either have to use mind map software or trying to draw them on paper because there's gonna be a lot of erasing. So what I've found is I could also um, start mind mapping everything that I do. So simple, simple instruction or a simple demonstration of this would be, I have an idea. Uh, what's my idea gonna be? Rule the world. And um, forgive my handwriting, I am left-handed. It's my curse and my gift. So from rule the world, you know, you just can't rule the world. Um, the first thing you're gonna have to do is um, you're gonna have to kill the infidels. And maybe you're gonna have to gather some support. And all I do here is I draw these lines. And at least I know that whenever I go on a yak shave, I can always get back up to the top. And of course, you just can't kill infidels. You also have to um, build an army. And you have to find, maybe find a general. I don't know. I've never really tried to take over the world, so I don't really know how this works. So, so now, from any task, I know how to get back up to where what I was doing. So I actually lose, I actually don't lose track of tasks. And for me, my new mnemonic is for whenever I'm done, I actually use this blue. And whenever I find the general, I just highlight it. And whenever I build my army, I highlight it. And if I want to move over to this other time or other side where I need to gather support, I just highlight it. Uh, it's pretty flexible. Um, notice I was using a pretty small pen type, but if I wanted one, I could actually, um, have a much bigger pen. And this is just a highlighter. So another thing that I do all the time is I'm always talking about building something. And today I was thinking of object storage, just in the general case. And I was thinking if we were gonna build this object storage type thing, what would it look like? Well, um, you know, there's always gonna be an internet component. And you know, some people can draw clouds, but I can't, but we'll know that's the internet. And there's going to be users on the other side of the internet and they're going to want to do stuff. So we'll draw an arrow this way. And then they're going to talk to some kind of web server and web servers, as we know, they look like boxes, but of course, you know, I'm not even using my squares properly. So we have to erase. And the good thing about notability is that it knows lines. So whenever you delete something, uh, it, you can just touch part of the line and it'll delete it. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll build a web server and we'll build a little more shapely web server this time. And we'll just call this FE for front end. And 
and we'll actually run our service over here somewhere else and we'll just call it service and we'll draw a nice little box around that as well too and they're going to be linked in and these are going to be linked in so before if i was doing this i probably would have raced a thousand times so what is this um i don't know let's just say it's https and let's say this is a local host on the local host so it's just http so now I can actually build these things out. But what if I decide that I don't like that or I want this or I want this bottom one to be HTTPS? Well, I can go here or, you know, I could just delete the whole entire thing and this time write it and then this time write it just a little bit neater. And if you're paying attention, this is my neat handwriting. So what is the benefit for someone technical and using an iPad Pro? Well, the thing is, is that I have unlimited paper and you know, this is just, this is only consuming one paper, one page right here. Um, but if I need more, I can have more. And here's another favorite feature of mine. Um, whenever I was writing in notebooks, I would always use a mechanical pencil so you could write really tiny. Well, now I don't have to worry about that. I can actually come here and I can just call this thing right here, Bob and super tiny. And I don't have to worry about what it looks like. And so, and then also, who carries a whole bunch of colors with them? Well, I did at one time because I was really into drawing into my moleskins, but now I don't have to worry about that. If I want to actually choose a nice purple, I can use a purple and I can give Bob hair that's purple. And as we all know, um, clouds are blue. So we'll give this, we'll make this cloud blue. And of course you can also change the weight. So other things that we can do with this app that I really enjoy. Um, well, sometimes you just don't draw things in the right place. So I'll give you a good example. So we'll go back to a different color. We'll make a green and we'll make it thicker. All right, so we'll make a, we'll make a green star. Choop, 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 choop. Well, the problem is, is that green star doesn't belong here. So this is something you could never do on your notebook. Um, you can't move things around. So if my green star actually needed to be on this side, they can be on this side. And another neat thing is that what you can't do in notebooks is you can't actually send your notes to somewhere else. I could actually take this note and I can email it to myself. And there's also a Notability app on the Mac where I can load it up there. So. These are the quick reasons, these are the quick wins of why I use the iPad Pro. There's a whole bunch more whenever I'm writing software and, and designing things out, but this is the gist of it. Um, ultimate flexibility and ultimate maneuverability, and it's, um, and it's already in something that I would already have. I always carry a tablet with me anyways. So that's about it.